All right, uh, let's continue with um, uh, our tutorial video for the best audio settings for your, for your Radio Boss. Um, I'm using Radio Boss 6.0. Right. Um, okay, so now uh, we got our um, adverts on the cut. So I simply dragged the adverts on the cut, and I also dragged the songs onto the playlist. All right. Um, what is the next thing that you can also do all right so uh, make sure that your music is playing uh, like i did i did already i don't want to play this because uh this is um these songs are protected by copyright all right but i can play the the adverts of course all right so we have an advert here pick pick and pay's delicious hot cross buns this easter pick freshly baked and traditional or chocolate for extra yummy pick savory all right if you want to stop you can always play you can always um Click on it again. All right. Another advert here. Boots look good on you. From the Chelsea. Right. Those are the adverts, right, uh, that I put on my cart. Right. You can always um, add more cuts if you want by clicking here. And then you have an option of adding another cut wall or some other things. All right. Uh, so let's say you are also uh, not good with some details and you don't want to write stuff down on a piece of paper that can make a lot of noise when you are broadcasting or podcasting. Then you can always come down in here, click on the plus, and you can open a notepad. So a notepad will actually allow you to, to type some, some information here. So you can make it uh, larger by doing this. And you can be able to type some information here. For example, maybe some numbers, some, some handles, Twitter handles that you might forget, some Instagram handles that you might forget, any information that you want, even a complete script. You can uh, type it, type it here to avoid having paper shuffling noise if you're typing on paper. And also, you can always be looking straight at the screen. So it's actually uh, very useful. All right, so you can use it as a typing board here. Right. And then uh, another thing that you can always do is to... Um, all right, let's go, let's go back again to our settings. So you come here. Click on settings and again let's go to input. So we have already set our inputs, right? If you look, if you watch the uh, previous tutorial, then you saw how I set. So I said music at minus 18, and then the music um, mic amplifier I didn't have use for it for now because I want to check the level of my voice first. So to check the level of my voice first, uh, I click the mic button, right? After having done all the settings like I did in the first. Um, tutorial, then go to the mic button and press the mic button and check your level. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. As you can see, my, my voice is getting in and it's picking it around six, uh, so you can always increase it. So to increase it, you can always go to, uh, you can always go back to input and mic mic amp that's when you can use the mic amp All right let me try uh, plus two decibels All right and i'll check again by clicking the mic button one two one two right now it's got a good level as you can see All right and then um so now that the mic button is set uh, also the music level now remember when you click here we also set the music level if you go to input there's the music level, and we set it to minus 18, and we said this would be the level of the music when I'm talking over it. This is the level of the music in the background when I talk over it to give room to my voice, right? So I am going to um, to look for a song or a, uh, some, some audio, right? I don't want to use, okay, I'm going to use, okay, let me get this, All right? So when I play it, when I double click on it, it will play. So now I want to speak on top of this instrumental. So this will be controlled by the level that I set. Remember the level I set it at minus 18. 
Right, so when I play the instrument, and when I press the mic, when I press the mic to speak, then the music will be lowered down to minus 18. I'm sure now you understand. Right, so I'll press the mic button. Hello, Hello there, and, and uh, welcome, welcome to, to my podcast. podcast. Now we can hear that the music in the background was lowered to give room to my voice, and my voice could be clearly to be cl to be cl or could be clearly heard. One, one, two, two, one, 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 So that means to speak, you simply press the mic button and the music now will be lowered automatically. You don't need to do anything else. Always press the mic, mic button. So a good way is for you to uh, use your keyboard instead of pressing here with your mouse. So you can set a shortcut for this. So you can always sh set a shortcut for this. How do you do it? You go to settings and then go to hot keys. All right. You see here the microphone button is here. So the F8 is the current, um, it is the current um, shortcut. So instead of F8, I want to choose enter. So it's easy for me to press enter than F8. So I press here and then I choose the new key that I want as my shortcut, which is the enter. Press the enter and now it becomes the shortcut and then press OK. So when you press enter now, it will actually open the microphone. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, one, two. Right, so let's say you are broadcasting. Good, Good evening and welcome, welcome to my podcast. podcast. My, my name is DK, DK and, and I'm just showing you how to do the best settings for your radio bus. Uh, this is Radio Boss 6. Point. Oh, welcome, welcome to, to my show. show. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, so uh, stay tuned and you learn something today. Right, so that's basically how you create uh, the shortcuts and also the audio settings, all right? Uh, anything else, uh, let me try to remember anything else that I think you should learn and know when it comes to the settings for your radio, for your radio boss, all right? Uh, another thing is the, jing uh, the jingles, right? So if you are especially doing a live broadcast of your, of your radio show, you obviously want to use jingles. So now we get adverts, uh, but we also another, we've got another place where you can put jingles. We can also put them here, but you can also put them at, at a special place right there at the top. So what you do, you go to where it says jingles, right? So we got jingle slot number one, two, eight, and then click assign. Right, uh, and then it opens this small window here. So choose the first slot and then go to assign. So when you click assign, you locate where the jingles are. So my jingles are on the desktop uh, in a folder written radio jingles. This one here, right. So the first jingle is this one. I will click it once and say open. And then uh, I'll go for the second jingle blazing I click open and now it is set to number two. Again, I go to assign, I press, I click in the mix. That's my third jingle. Then assign again, I choose mixing the beats. Right, and then uh, assign again and I will choose this one as the last jingle. Then click open. Right, so before you close and say uh, okay, you must also set the level of the jingles. So when the jingles play, what volume should they have? How loud or how soft should they be? So you can, uh, the default volume is, is 25. However, if you want your jingles to play louder, then you can always raise it up a little bit. All right, let me leave them at 35 and then say OK. And then click OK, all right. So now as you see, as you can see, the jingles will be here. Jingle number one, 
two, three, four, five, up until here. So when you press. Five, five, four, four, three, 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 two, one, one. We have ignition. Strap in. You're about to listen to the hottest sounds. And then uh, the second jingle is this one. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, one, one. Blaze, blaze in the steel. We have ignition. Strap in. You're about to listen to the hottest sounds. With the hottest deal. The fifth jingle. The station with the best, 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 best music. Best music. I love the I music. Love the music. Best music. And now I'm playing a song in the background. Uh, this beat. Blaze, blaze in the steel. Bring the heat. Mix it non-stop. 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 With the With hottest, the hottest DJ. DJ. All right. And you can always uh, use um, shortcuts for this as well. So you see the numbers here. So they correspond with the numbers on your keyboard. So you just go and press that number on the keyboard. So jingle number one, I'm pressing from, I'm playing from the keyboard. Five. Jingle number two, I'm playing from the keyboard. I'm just pressing the number two on the keyboard. Blaze, blaze in the steel. Bring the heat. Mix it non-stop. 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 With the with hottest, the hottest DJ. DJ. Want to be the next top model, but you can't find an agency to get you started on your dream? And after this, Boss I'm Model play, uh, is one of the agencies the that can again. help you be the next top model. Have a look at our social media platforms and go to our website on www.bossmodels.com and our IG handle on boss underscore model and email us on bossmodelsa at gmail.com. Boss Model, helping you reach your dream. All right, and uh, Radio Boss will always show you the song that is playing. It will show you the song that is playing here. All right, and then uh, it will show you the coming up next song also here. So that means when I press this, it will show, it must show, when I play this song, for example, it will show this one as the next uh, or up next song. Right, uh, so basically this is how you work with um, Radio Boss. So these are the settings that I found to be the best settings for, for, for broadcasting, for creating a, a live program or a live broadcast from radio boss you got all the tools that you need really so you got the jingles you got the songs the music and here you got the adverts and here you got a place where you can write your script and here you got your play buttons and all that and there's so many other things that you can that you can that you can add and all this you'll find in uh, future uh, tutorials thank you for watching and i hope you have learned something today <laughs>